creepy ruin standing on the far side of Caster Wells. Maybe that's where the ancient people who guarded the element used to live. Maybe so. Maybe so. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Since I got all the kin stones that I can get up to this point in the game, it's time to start the next dungeon, which is the Fortress of Winds. And you immediately start out here with a multiple path, so just take the center one. <laughs> hmm, to think the ruins were hidden within this cliff the whole time. Watch your step link. There may be traps in here. You think this is a dungeon? Well, maybe he's not familiar with Zelda games. You just never know. <laughs> And here we have a blue variety of staffles. They can jump on your head, and that's pretty much it. I think the other there's another variety that can throw bones. I don't. I, yeah, I don't think you're the variety that can do that. They flail their arms around, which uh, and then which they throw a bone, and yeah, those aren't the ones. <laughs> Just be mindful of their colors, and you should be good. There's some more Igors up there, but I think I'm going to take this path first. Bloop! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's actually not why I want to uh, come down this path. Oh, this isn't the room I'm thinking of. My bad. <laughs> I was I was thinking that a key was down this way. Well, no, it's not. Oh, well. All right, Igor. Don't think you're not going down. Boop. Such an easy enemy once you know what to do with them. In fact, you can even shoot at them from a relatively far distance, even when they're off-screen. There we go. They're especially uh, predictable, because they always go in the direction that you are going. No, you don't. You dare. I will, however, take this dungeon map. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. So, now we got a map of the area, and it's not very helpful at all. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you here. The... The dungeon, I mean, this dungeon is where things start getting a bit complicated, and with all of the dirt in the way on uh, uh, this floor right here, you can't really do anything about it. In fact, the map may very well be more misleading than anything. <laughs> See, look at the blackness of, of, in the room that I was just at. It's like, so you go there, it's it's still black. Yeah, there's it's this map is kind of a mystery, in all honesty, how they decided to... I'll formulate this thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pull the switch. By the way, beware of the spark enemy that I just got it in time. Because <laughs> they can zap you. They like to hug the edges of things, so if you change your path, they will change your path as well. I mean, if you uh, carve a hole in their path, they, they will change your path based on whatever path that you see that. Now oh, they're moving along the edge because I got rid of the skulls. And no, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so. But yes, and you see Moldorms running around there. They are a rather unpredictable enemy. Uh, I'm not sure if I... I don't remember encountering them yet in this game. I might have... I mean, in this walkthrough, excuse me, I'm sure I've encountered them in this game before. <laughs> Obviously. Um... Let's see here... What can I do about this room, per se? I need to get you out of the way, that's for sure. But I don't think I can do anything else aside from the switch puzzle in this room. I'm gonna have to remember to come back here later. I just like to do as much as I can for now. Remember that your doppelganger self cannot go through solid walls. So, yeah. Just keep, keep that in mind. Shrink! And now backtrack from here. And notice that you can't go over these little edges of the floor. Just keep that in mind for uh, your puzzle solving shenanigans later. And this right here is to transform back. But what I want to do is turn this on first. Like, it, this almost seems useless at first because it's got the other one there. But it's just really there to be a handy dandy shortcut of sorts. Come back to life! You didn't come back to life for very long, did you? <laughs> Pull this and watch it falls! 
It keeps falling through the floors. This is a way for the game to demonstrate to you that you can safely fall down the holes if you see something uh, below uh, below in the holes. Hmm, did something just fall down or was it just my imagination? The camera doesn't lie. Follow that key! Woo! And this key can be used in the other area that you've seen. Actually, come to think of it, there's a lot of places I could use keys for now, but I'm just gonna keep it simple and work on each area, one area at a time. So, yep, just gonna go back through here and I'll take the left path just because I've been going left to right this whole time beware beware not to get knocked in the hole this doesn't have anything underneath it yeah it's a dangerous kind of hole uh, this require oh I got my bow out already Boop. I forgot that I had that because of the oh yeah beware of the wall masters <laughs> but if they grab onto you what'll happen is that they'll take you back to the beginning of the dungeon they're more of an inconvenience than anything you can kill them off just by baiting them out like that and then swinging their sword at them like you'll see your shadow gets a lot bigger when they're about to jump on top of you or fall on top of you but yeah they're just a big inconvenience they don't do any damage well Unless you touch them directly, but I mean, if they grab onto you, that's their only issue. Uh, this room looks suspicious. Oh, jeez, it's another dark nut. Oh, no. Sword hand. Remember to attack the side that has the sword. Yep. Yep. Oop. Just try and clip it. You can also use bomb. <clears throat> Bombs are rather effective. What? How did you block that? Your, your sword was out. I think it's kind of a little bit safe to actually use... Uh, pfft, to actually use your sword because you can actually push him back to defend yourself as well so you can use your sword both offensively and pfft, and defensively defensively unless I keep flubbing this up this is not hard to take one of these on <laughs> at least not alone that, and that's why the reason I mean that's why bombs are so effective because it stuns them and this take you back to the beginning but why would you want to do that I mean I was avoiding those wall masters for a reason here <laughs> and this has you merry-go-rounding with death you gotta follow the traps there we go not all that hard to do if you just stay right on the inside path and that's going to lead to oh 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 this leads to the dungeon item I just remember this Bloop. And open this chest, and all will make sense to you. You get the Mole Mitts! Dig, dig, dig to your heart's content! And that is indeed what I will be doing. And you can literally dig through the walls, baby! Oh yeah! Now, these Mole Mitts open up a lot of possibilities throughout the world that you, I mean, you've noticed that there was some blocked off paths by dirt such as this, right? Well, now you know how to get in them. Alright, let's move on. And why did I bother to even pick that up when I can just... Yeah. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do here is... Uh, let's take a hit from a Staphos. But no, that's not very uh, productive. Oh, oh, aha! <laughs> what I'm going to do here is go back to the first room because I can now explore it. Oh yeah! And be wary of little holes like this because they might contain chests, like so. Uh oh! Uh oh! Wizards, beware of their shots! Oh, and there's even some evil candles of doom. I don't even think they have a name. <laughs> they shoot out little magic balls at you for whatever reason. I didn't do anything to them. They just do it because uh, it's so rude of them. Oh, dang it, I gotta dig myself out again. <laughs> uh, I don't have the key... F Wait, can I do anything in the left path? I don't think I can do anything without a key in this path. Just hold on, I just want to take a gander up here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This isn't the path that I'm thinking of. My memory, it's terrible. <laughs> but what else is new? So I can do something here. And uh-oh. Uh-oh. Staffos invasion. The 
The blue runs are so predictable because when they're up in the air like that, you can just tell where they're going to land because they're, they, when they jump up, they land exactly where you were when they jumped up and you can just walk right underneath them safely because they're outside of the hitbox and you just wait for them to fall back down to the ground when you attack them. It's very, very simple. Whoa, red kinstone piece! Yeah! Um, oh! False corner! That was mean. I don't trust these rupees. Aha! A rupee like like! Never trust piles of rupees like that. They are trying to trick you. And that was another hole. Holes also try and trick you. Uh, 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 oh! <laughs> I think they steal rupees based on the color. So like the red rupee like likes will steal 20 rupees from you every time they eat you. While the uh, uh, blue ones will steal five. At least that's what it seems to be. I could be wrong though. Get, get out of my way. Red kinstone piece. Wait, was there anything off to the side now? Okay, just wanted to check that. At least didn't seem like there's anything important there. Alright, moving on. And grooving on. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Literally, shoot. Eh, eh. I'm gonna take that path. And... Mm. 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 Oh, this is the one you gotta loop around. Because the, they kind of trap you by making you think that you can go and touch the panels on the same side, but no, you actually gotta uh, aim yourself like so. Nope. Can't use bow when I'm split apart. Dang it! There we go. Boop. I wonder if I'll ever take a hit from one of these things. It's very possible. <laughs> Anyway, over here is the compass, and now we can really start making sure we clear out this dungeon. I'm doing a pretty good job. <laughs> In fact, I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would be, especially with my bad memory. <laughs> Alright, let's take the right path now. Make sure your bow is still out when you go over here so you can start poking the eyes out, as is Zelda tradition. And, oh, jeez, it's timed. <laughs> Didn't know that one was timed, because I always did it on my first shot. Okay, uh, I don't think I should drop down that hole just yet. In fact, it looks more like a shortcut hole than anything. Um, when you multiply yourself here, be mindful of your angle. Like, for blocks, you want to make sure that you are like this, rather than the vertical way. I mean, rather than the horizontal way. You want to be vertical for blocks like this, because you need both links on the side. And I'm just going to push this to that side for the heck of it. And now, we need to switch to the other way. Oh, jeez, I want to roll. <laughs> oh, something... That uh, to keep in mind to make it, your job a little bit easier when you're multiplying yourself is that whenever you're going to push yourself against a wall, or I should say, if just in case to make sure it's as safe as possible, put your more solid side where the wall would be so that your illusion self doesn't go where the wall is, and, like it doesn't go inside the wall. And then what happens is that you lose your copies and you have to re multiply. Alright, I think I am good here, so down we go. Whee! Voila! Alright. And. Uh, mm, mm. That's where that warp leads, by the way. Um, I guess. Oh, I didn't really realize the time. I'll finish this room and then I'll end off the part. You need the Pegasus boots. Get ready. Gotta time yourself well. Listen. And go, 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 yeah! Woo! We barely made it! I was certain we'd run out of time! <laughs> nah, the Pegasus boots are mega handy. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.